All right, guys, I'm gonna show you a quick video here on how you can do some song management here on the SC6000 with the new update of firmware 2.0.0. So right here, when you pop in, you go into your source. I'm on an internal drive, for instance, and you see this button right up here, this edit, right? So what you wanna do, go into like, say one of your folders, for instance, uh, let's go into my uh, tech house stuff here. For instance, you want to click that, right? Pops up create playlist. But this is where things get kind of strange because you would think, okay, I'm going to select some stuff and I'm going to create a playlist and I'm going to call it new. No, new. And you're going to create it. And then you come out and you look and you go in there and there's nothing there kind of strange because you would think this is the way it would work right that would be the most intuitive way to do things but that's not the case so now let's go back to that uh well it doesn't really matter we'll, we'll take let's go with this beat port one for instance now right so you see that we have that there we want to click there again right but this time select select let's grab just some random stuff here I'm gonna, Say I want this all. Um, and so here's what's kind of a bit ridiculous about this. It would be nice if I could preview my track right from here, but I can't. What I can do is I can hold it and I can shift it around within here, but I don't want to do that. That's not the case. I want to select, 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 select my tracks, right? And then hold down and drag into the new and it says it's added. Now when we go out there and we look at that new, you see there's our tracks, right? And of course, now I can sit there and um, I don't know if you can make that out or not. It's come through the headphones. So I can kind of cue my stuff there. But here's what, you know, like I say, this is one of the issues that I wish they would change because they weren't really thinking. If I'm trying to build a playlist within my stuff, I want to kind of listen to stuff, be able to tag it, right? Like a prepare list and be able to take my prepare list and turn that into a, um, a playlist. So this is what we have going here right now, because if I go like that and I go prepare, 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 right? When I go into my prepared stuff, there's my prepare stuff, right? And now one thing that you might notice is kind of cool. I can actually prepare, make a prepare list with stuff from my beat source, right? I know why it says unable to load. Well, let's try this again. Um, Let's see if I can just load it into the deck. Oh, must just sign it because I'm not signed in, I guess. Okay, now we're signed in. Now we can uh, go back to the dead and stuff. Go to the prepare list. I don't know why that's not working. But anyways, the idea is you can um, make a prepare list with mixed stuff, but that doesn't really help me. I want to be able to take this prepare list and I wish there was a way to say, make that into a playlist because I can do that on a CDJ 3000 and it's very helpful. I can listen to it, prepare it, move it over. But regardless, like I just showed you, this is how it's done at the moment. It's not the most intuitive thing. I can sit there and listen to it there and that's good and all. You know, I can make it bigger. But then I have to just be able to remember I want those ones there. Drag that over. 
and dump it into that new list. Then when I come out of there, I go in there and there's my new list, right? So it works. And of course, when I'm in this list here, right? I it, That's another one I really am hoping for. Why can I not just touch right there and give it a star rating? Man, how simple. It's right there. Like, why show it to me if I can't use it? Um, if I want to change the order of things here, I can go back there. I can hold that and I can drag this and start moving things where I want them to be, right? And then come back out again. Uh, the other thing I can do as well too, is I can take this new, I think I gotta go like that, right. And I can drag it to the right and let go and rename it. Or when I'm in the edit mode here, I can take it, drag it the other way and I can remove it and it's gone. So that's just a little bit of how you can manage your stuff on the uh, Denon SC6000s internally without having to do much with Rekordbox. But like I said, it's good, but there's still lots of work that can be done. I'm gonna have to hop into the forums and uh, get some suggestions because we're almost there. This stuff is almost working as good as a CDJ3000 when it comes to management, but not quite. It, CDJ3000 still have a better music management system on board. Come on, Denon, let's get together. Shouldn't have to take six months or a year to do this. Within a matter of a month, you should be able to, you know, get those programmers on things and get this rolling. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Um, you're either going to see this on the Denon official group, but I'm also going to post this to my YouTube channel here at the DJ Lab. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the alert button so when I do new videos, you're alerted and you know the new videos are going up because I'm kind of random. I don't have any set times that I do things. That's it. I'll talk to you all soon.